Roberts. A man is charged with capital murder of a police officer. That's after a chase on I-65 late last night. I want to get back out to WVTM 13's Mary O'Connell. She's been following this story for us all morning. Uh, Mary, what do we know at this point? Flags are flying at half staff outside Kimberly City Hall this morning. U.S. Attorney Jay Town tweeted this morning that Alabama lost another brave officer after that shooting that happened last night. Right now, details are still limited, but here is what we know so far. The shooting happened last night after 10 o'clock. Police were involved in a chase when this all happened. The Kimberly police officer was shot on I-65 near Warrior. That officer was rushed to UAB and there was a heavy police presence around the hospital. Jail records show this man, Preston Johnson, is now charged with capital murder. He was booked into the Jefferson County Jail around 5.30 a.m. Authorities put out a blue alert around 1 this morning looking for Johnson in connection to the shooting. Johnson was later taken into custody near Highway 78 in Walker County, along with three other people who were with him. A press conference for this morning was put off and moved to later this after afternoon around 1 o'clock with the SBI, and we expect to get more updates at that time and we also understand that the family of this officer may be present at that time in Kimberly Mary O'Connell WVTM 13. Preston Johnson has a long criminal history. According to court records, his latest arrest was back in October accused of stealing a car in Winston County. He was later arrested in Coleman County and deputies say they found him with an AR-15, 13 grams of meth, needles and drug paraphernalia. We're going to send you the newest information through the free WVTM 13 app. Again, once we get an update, I'll look for that right on your phone.